Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a very strange month, the month of March, the month, God damn it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is March, 2020. We are filming this on the 19th. And wow, has it been one strange month. Um, I don't know when this video is going live. I think about a week from now, but as of now, today, um, our stores are open. We are shipping normally. Things are going well. Um, we are being smart following CDC regulations and about 80% of our staff is working from home and we're kind of skele skeleton crew. <laughs> just to have the retail stores still open for now and the shipping operations going. Anyways, we have a blog post detailing our business operations that I'll drop below that has our current status of business. Um, but nonetheless, we're still gonna go through and let you guys know the popular products for the month of March, 2020 in the mountain bike world. A long time staple and always a top seller for us and probably every bike shop on the planet, shock pump. This is a Fox one. It goes to 300 PSI, made for a Schrader valve for your air fork or shock. Super useful tool that you need to have if you have air suspension. We are now selling these things for $19.99 with free shipping and we're probably not gonna always have that price. We usually sell them for 25 or 30 bucks. But right now we're going a crazy sale, $19.99. But yeah, it's a really good deal. So if you don't have a shock pump, this one's awesome. It's a top selling one that we have. Works on all sorts of stuff, not just Fox, just any threaded Schrader valve, fork, or shock. There you go. Next up, we have the Maxxis Dissector tire. So this is a new tire from Maxxis. Well, somewhat new. They launched it last August of 2019. Um, this is a killer tire. It was developed with Troy Brosnan, a professional downhill racer out of Australia, World Cup madman. Um, we did a standalone video on this thing at launch to talk more in depth about the whole thing, but it's a really cool tire. It basically has um, a bit of a more, I would call it like a fast rolling center tread, and it's pretty light. So in a 2.4 in the same casing, it's actually lighter than a Maxxis DHR2, um, which is a comparable tire that I like to run on the front of my bike all the time. And DHFs, so this is lighter than, DHFs don't come in 27.5 or 29 in a 2.4 width. This does, it's lighter than those as well. So it's a bit lighter, a bit faster rolling. It's somewhere not quite as aggressive or as heavy as a DHF and a DHR2, but slightly less, but not enough less that it's like a rear tire or an aggressor or an Arden or anything like that. So perfect sort of like middle ground tire from Maxxis, Dissector, bunch of different sizes and casings available, but this thing has been a crazy good seller and it's just an awesome new tire from Maxxis. So check it out and check out that video we have on it as well, link below in the video description if you're interested. Another very popular thing in the month of March for us and probably a lot of shops all around the world, at least north of the equator, is demo bikes. So spring cleaning, last year's demo bikes, um, we've got a bunch of them right now for sale. We do have three different pink bike buy sell pages, one for our California store, Nevada store, and Pennsylvania store. Uh, everything on there is demo bikes, employee bikes, stuff that ships as well. So check that out, link below to all those things in the bottom. We should probably get those on the website, but we have a ton of killer demo bikes for sale right now that are amazing deals. I'll show you one right now. I'm not moving, it's facial expression and everything. Don't hit me. This one behind me is a Da Vinci Troy Carbon X01 build, carbon rims. We have this thing going for 4,990 bucks right now, and it is mint condition. Um, all the demo bikes that we sell are always in mint condition. We keep bikes extremely tidy here, um, and if anything is scratched or damaged, we just replace it before we sell it. Um, so anyways, this is a beauty. This bike was actually featured in a video we did. We did a video on a $3,000 bike versus a $9,000 bike, this being the full carbon beauty $9,000 bike. Um, now for sale for $5,000, um, slightly used. But uh, check out that video if you haven't seen it. It was a pretty fun one to film, $3,000 versus $9,000 bike. A lot of differences, but also still both really fun. Anyways, check out our Pink Bike Buy Sell pages for both of our locations to see all of the used inventory that we have on complete bikes all the time. And uh, yeah, there you go. A lot of sweet bikes out there. Get yourself one. They're fun. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Next up, we have some super fancy grips. So these are by the German company Ergon. These are the GE1 Evos in the, shit. My God, pull yourself together. Frozen Stealth Oil Slick, as you can see here. Um, the GE1, I love this grip. This is my favorite Ergon grip. Basically, it has kind of a unique taper to it um, that kind of pushes up and flares towards the end. And then it also has a bit of a contour to it um, where your thumb sort of sits as well. So we recently filmed a video all about sort of Ergon, their attention to detail, what their company does, why they put so much effort into engineering grips and saddles and why they're just have been so popular and so highly regarded for so many years. So speaking of that video, link below to it in the video description. Um, go there, watch it today, comment something. I'm gonna look at all the recent comments that happen on that Ergon video today um, for the next three days, and I'm gonna pick a random person, send them a message on YouTube or Instagram or wherever, and send them these grips for free. So go watch that video. Oh, and if you like my fancy new hoodie, we recently made these babies, 80-20 cotton polyester blend. Really nice, very soft, high quality. Let me show you something. Take your hands off my lobby boy! This is one of our team members, Super Manny. He's wearing the hoodie right now. All things MTB, pretty cool. Really like this hoodie. It's got a little sneaky WC logo down here as well. And I was recently informed by a good friend and customer of mine that this thing on a white background image kind of looks like a jock strap. What do you guys think? A top seller during the winter months, or hopefully end of the winter months, is rear shock rebuild kits. We sell a lot of rebuild kits for rear shocks and forks. Um, if you ever need help figuring out how to do that on your bike, whether it's how-to videos or which rebuild kit works for your suspension, feel free to contact us. We help people all the time figure out what they need to rebuild their suspension. Um, these little rebuild kits from Fox are 16 bucks and they contain basically everything you need to rebuild a shock, all the appropriate seals and a little float fluid. Um, this fits almost all Fox rear shocks, all the float versions. Um, we actually made a video, two minutes and 20 seconds long, all about this rebuild kit that talks more in depth about exactly what it includes, why you'd need it, when you'd need it, all that sort of stuff. And we filmed it just over two years ago. Link below in the video description. I highly suggest you go watch it because it's really funny because the video is really bad and you can seriously see how far our video skills have come in terms of focus and background and sound and all sorts of things. And it's kind of hilarious to look back at this and be embarrassed of how bad that video was a long time ago. So if you notice a difference in quality from that video to this one, send us an email and tell the media team that they're getting a lot better. I think I'm doing just the same, but you know, the video looks a lot better now. Last but not least, RockShock Reverb Access Dropper Post. This is a fully wireless electronic dropper post from RockShock. It is a bit steep on the price side. It's 800 bucks, but damn, is it ever cool. And you will feel so good about yourself when you install this on your bike because you don't have to route a dropper post cable, which anyone who's ever done that knows that that is extremely challenging. Um, this thing's killer. A lot of people are running it, myself included. This is actually from my own bike. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. I think it's rad. It works super well. Controller has sort of great ergonomics to it. Um, again, installing it is the most satisfying thing in the world. Um, we have not seen a single one of these have an issue yet, so it's kind of got different stuff going on than some of the old reverbs, but all modern day reverbs are dialed in these days anyway, although they do have a bit of a bad reputation in the past, kind of like all dropper posts for sucking and having issues. Um, but these ones are dialed and work super well. The battery is, of course, removable, easy to charge. I think it lasts like 20 hours or something and you can swap it out on your Eagle Access rear derailleur if you do have one of those it's the same exact battery but yeah RockShock Reverb Access dropper post. Look at my tongue. <laughs> Watch this.
Well, that is it for March 2020. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching our YouTube channel, and I sincerely hope that you are home and safe and everything is going okay in your life and you're making it through this coronavirus madness. Um, thanks again for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.